I think you're right. There, there is something quali- that feels very different it? between just wetness, <laughs> as an example, you're a liquid. Right. Uh, that, that's, a, that's an emergent behaviour. But you're right, that when, when you get to life, I mean, life is surely the most remarkable example of that. And, and, and actually, some of the work that, that we see, I, I was listening to some, uh, there's a paper just been published, I've forgotten the name, it's from a, a, a Google research group, about essentially seeing replicators, which is what we're talking about here, living things emerge, that behaviour emerge just from random code. Mm. So it's, it's a very beautiful paper. I wish I could remember the name. Maybe on the, the strap line here when we do this thing. <laughs> you but mean in, uh, in human written code? Yeah, so you just, you just do a very basic computing language mm-hmm. and essentially the concept of a Turing machine, which now I'd have to explain, but the, this idea that you can, a, a computer is essentially just a, a, a tape with like characters on it or you could have just ones and zeros on it and something that goes along and can change those zeros into ones and ones into zeros it can read and write on the tape and and a few other properties and alan turing back in the 1930s wrote a very famous paper which showed which introduced the concept of a universal turing machine so all computers are equivalent to each other essentially oh but there's some work being done um on seeing how you can just start with no coding really just just randomness and a couple of rules for computing and you leave it and over time you get you essentially get code written that can replicate oh. so it's, so you get coding sequences that can copy themselves 